Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of welterweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. You got this one. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is a 10 rounder. Silk's movement helped out there, he avoided that punch. Good flush shot upstairs. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. <laughs> Goes up top with a right hand. Finish Able to cover up that gut. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Nice block by Silk. Silk's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Great movement to get away from those punches. Well-placed left hand there. Silk's proving to be elusive. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Here we go. Round two is underway. Got this one. 
Cuts. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Nice strike after catching one by Silk. Scored well up top. Watch that. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. He just missed that shot up top. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Oh, hands up, hands up. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Able to show you his blocking ability. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. To the head he goes with a left hand. Let it go! Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Silk's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. Don't stop. Don't stop. You gotta keep working. You can get ahead, but you gotta. Number three is underway. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. That was not well targeted by Silk. <laughs> Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. the body shot. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocks it away.
not much action as he just ties up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Blocks that punch. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Not able to land the headshot. And that does it for this round. Where's your hook at? Come on now. You're stronger than him. You need the hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. One more shot to the body. Don't just walk in. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. I need to box him. Wait for him to boom. Silk's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Left and right. Left and right. Way through round number four. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch, and then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Able to dismiss that body shot. Pace yourself. Silk's proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting forth. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Back to the body. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can 
eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Right, Somebody gonna is gonna it. wind up not this standing at the end. Close. We got it. I need you to double up the jam. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Silk. the straight right hand but didn't score with it showing you some defense there with the block you see him holding on silks well off the mark that time keep working the body well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Gets rid of that body shot. wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wishes, and it's too late for it because he wasn't taught, but he wishes he was a guy who was taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. Right now, his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. The Silk's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing, but what's that old saying, hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick? Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Off the mark. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Silk. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. If you're standing straight up, move that body. You need to move that body more. reached the halfway point of this main event. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Really frustrating. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. Once that's a, oh! Big uppercut comes home, and he's down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he 
goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a blush fire, but he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Halfway through round six. Off the target by Silk. Keep working the body. Looking good. Silk's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Up on your punches. Silk showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Not precise at all by Silk. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Relax, relax. Take deep breath. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around the ring. Silk's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Wow, is he defensively sound. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. What a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. <laughs> Halfway through the seventh round. One, two. One, two.
Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being elusive, but there's no change. He's just throwing straight naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit, get a false movement, get him out of position, get him off balance, and then time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's going to keep doing what he's doing, move air around. Oh, you're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your head move. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see that counter hook. Make him... Wes is just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jab. A nice block by Silk. Keep moving. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Silk. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Back to the body. See, the defense pays now. off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> Boom, left hand comes home. Silk's mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. Now the tide has turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered, good things are happening. That's it, just like that. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Silk's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Back to the body. <laughs> nowhere close that punch by Silk. Silk's punch didn't come close. Nice work, nice work. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Silk's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Right? Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in there. 
You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Silk. A good block. You're not Face yourself. <laughs> Teddy, what good. advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. Halfway through the ninth round. Relax. You got this one. <laughs> in control and now maybe okay. out of control after getting hit there but what you just said joe that Come is really him. what's the hey. enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him he was winning too easily and for a minute he let up and bang double up on your punches And he just holds on there. Watch the hook. Last ten seconds of the ninth round. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab. This is it. Tenth and final round as they face off against each other. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Engages in the clinch. One, two, one, two. Keep moving. Oh, what a whiff by Silk. Good looking right hand after he got hit. A 
headshot tight. blocked. He's tight. <laughs> Silk's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. <laughs> Halfway through this 10th and final round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but Move. clinching. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Keep working the body. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Silk's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep moving. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. You're still not moving enough. Move. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. A unanimous decision, Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.